Hello, my name is Jeremy Newth, and it's my pleasure to introduce Wit and Wisdom K-8 ELA to you. Along with my colleague Morgan Sabellic, I support schools and districts across the state in implementing high quality instructional materials. I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes introducing you to Wit and Wisdom. And as we do this, hang out your seats, it's going to be fast. But the foundation for all of what we do and what you'll do with Wit and Wisdom is on the screen now. Great Minds believes that every child is capable of greatness. And that means every child is capable of greatness, which then leads us to a challenge. How do we nurture the greatness in every single child in our classroom? And we, can, we do that by providing great appropriate texts. We do that by engaging all students in learning. We do that by holding and communicating high expectations for all of our students. And these high student outcomes are built on three key pillars. And it's over the next few minutes that we'll address each of these three key pillars to help you understand how wit and wisdom works. Building knowledge, interacting with texts, and integrating across standards. Firstly, building knowledge, knowledge building topics. Daniel Willingham rightly says, that knowledge is not only cumulative, it grows exponentially, which means that the more you know, the more you can learn. And so what we need to do in the name of building equity within our classrooms is provide students with background knowledge through which they can unlock texts. You may be familiar with the iconic baseball study, which measures students and, and compared students' reading ability with their background knowledge, in this case, background knowledge about baseball. Now, the first column on the chart, unsurprising, high reading ability, high knowledge students scored uh, with a high degree of reading comprehension. It's that second column that's fascinating. These are low reading ability students who scored almost as high as their high reading ability co uh, colleagues because they have had high background knowledge about baseball. What this tells us is that as we build students' background knowledge, they're able to unlock texts. And so Wit and Wisdom does exactly that. It builds background knowledge through knowledge building topics. And this is a, a picture of our curriculum map. There are four modules across each level, each grade year. Uh, within Wit and Wisdom, you can see the, the vertical column on the left-hand side, K1234. And I've highlighted in blue a vertical strand of knowledge building that you'll see across the curriculum. In this case, it's American history in kindergarten, in grade two, in grade three, in grade four, it's building students' background knowledge about American history across the grades and across the grade bands. So we have vertical alignment, and then simultaneously, we have horizontal alignments too. Uh, it was a, a grade four teacher in Baltimore who shared a beautiful story about one of her students who came to her in module three and said, Mrs. S, you know why we're studying the Redcoats are coming in the American Revolution now in module three, right? And she's like, why? And he said, well, because in module one, we, we learned about a great heart, about how we need to have a, not just a literal heart, but a figurative heart, which provides us strength so that we can endure in extreme settings, module two. And here we are in module three, when during the American Revolution, individuals had to have the emotional strength to survive in the extreme setting of the American Revolution. And it, so this, this, this horizontal alignment and vertical alignment builds knowledge and helps students cumulatively to have access to equitable learning in the classroom. Grades five, six, seven, and eight, you can see that American history strands continuing to run through in the vertical alignment of wit and wisdom. Let's take a look at grade four. Uh, there are four modules, a great hard extreme settings, the red coats are coming, and myth making. And as we build knowledge, we ask questions. Witten Wisdom is built on a foundation of asking questions. There's an essential question in each module that's supported by a series of smaller focusing questions. And these focusing questions build students' capacity to answer that big picture essential question. And as they're asking questions, they're building knowledge. Building knowledge in each module means knowledge that's topic specific and that enables students to unlock text, texts which are grade level appropriate. The second of our three key pillars is rich text sets. And that means texts 
that are grade level appropriate, that are compelling, and which engage students in the wonders of literature, anchoring all that we do within wisdom are core texts. And these core texts are grade appropriate, they're engaging, they're compelling, they model the exceptional craft of writing, uh, they're complex, they present varying viewpoints, they're an opportunity for students to fall in love with literature. And those core texts are books in hand. Students actually hold these texts in their laps. Simultaneously, there are supplementary texts. And as you look on your screen, you'll see already that supplementary texts are designed to be multimodal in nature. Our core texts, they're books that students hold, they're trade books. Our supplementary texts come in multiple modes, poems, videos, articles, websites, students watch film, they watch video footage, they look at fine art, because these are scaffolds into the knowledge building topics of each of the modules in Wit and Wisdom. They're opportunities for students to dive into text and to unlock meaning by building their background knowledge. There's a third type of text within Wit and Wisdom, it's called the volume of reading. The volume of reading is an optional library list of texts that are on topic, designed to continue building students' knowledge and provide teachers with an opportunity to give to students suggestions of books that they can continue to build their topic knowledge with, because inevitably students ask, Mrs. S, what else can I read on this topic? It's, it's a, a, a fantastic topic. I'd like to learn more. What would you recommend that I read? And so always teachers struggle with that. With the volume of reading, there's no struggle because teachers are given resources that they can support their students with. Another way that students unlock meaning and text is through art. Fine art is woven into all of the modules because fine art is a fantastic scaffold. It's a foundation for discourse. It's an opportunity for students to think critically. It's an opportunity for all students, no matter their backgrounds, to ask questions, to examine, to think, and to discuss. And that's what ELA in its most beautiful format is all about. The third of our key pillars is integration. Everything within wit and wisdom is integrated. And what does that mean? It means that knowledge and texts, these, these complex texts and building knowledge about these topics is the, the center of this wheel. And then the spokes around this wheel are those ELA strands that we all focus on, but in traditional ELA instruction, it's quite disparate, disconnected. Instead, with wit and wisdom, everything is connected. What does that mean? For example, taking a look at an, a simple um, a module or a module three from grade one as an example, lesson 23, everything that students are doing for reading, for speaking and listening, for style and conventions, for vocabulary, for writing, centers around this complex grade level text. It's so different to traditional ELA where we might do one activity in one part of the lesson, a totally different activity in the second part of the lesson, there's no connection, there's no strands integrating the two. In Wit and Wisdom, everything is integrated. And content stages illustrate how students unlock meaning in reading texts. So thinking about the strand of reading itself, Wit and Wisdom incorporates a series of deliberately structured and designed stages, in this case uh, with the acronym Word K, wonder, organize, reveal, distill, know, to help students, to equip students with the tools to add to their toolbox so that they can, not just in ELA class, unlock meaning and complex text, but outside of the ELA classroom, use these tools to unlock meaning. Look at writing, for example. Uh, writing is, is always the feedback that new implementers give to us. They say just a, a month into implementation, the students are writing better than they've ever written before. And so Wooden Wisdom is all about writing to learn and learning to write. So we provide supports and opportunities to write in various forms and various formats on a daily basis so that students are practicing the skill, the, the craft of writing, while also using writing to help them to understand and unlock further meaning about this topic and the text that they're reading. Here's the, the four craft stages that students use. It's a, a sequential framework that they use in a repeated format to build 
the tools in their toolbox to be able to write successfully and use writing to demonstrate their meaning and understanding. We use models, uh, repeatable models that apply to different scenarios to equip students with tools to demonstrate their understanding. Another way that wit and wisdom is, is integrated is vocabulary as well as, as well as style and conventions. Vocabulary, for example, when students don't have necessary vocabulary background knowledge, they can't unlock meaning. So here's a, a text uh, about the, the, the Boston massacre. And without the vocabulary um, knowledge, students aren't able to make sense of this text. With that vocabulary knowledge in place, students can read successfully. It's like the, the, the old way of doing vocabulary. I have a word wall. There's no connection between the word wall words and what we're learning in classroom. In the classroom, with wit and wisdom, it's far better to read a text about, about dolphins ascending and descending, because in that way, students will understand what ascend and descend means. When a dolphin ascends to the surface, uh, takes a breath and then descends below the surface, there's a hinge point upon which students can attach that new knowledge and make sense of it. And that's what happens with vocabulary. And that's what happens with, with grammar. Every day, there's a 15 minute deep dive into grammar, style and conventions, or vocabulary. And the, the grammar and vocabulary is all rooted in the text students are reading, in the topics that students are studying, so that everything is integrated and therefore knowledge can be built cumulatively and there's a place for students to attach that new knowledge to existing knowledge. So lesson structure. Each lesson is 90 minutes with a 15 minute deep dive that can be at the beginning uh, or the end or some other point during the day. Welcome, launch, learn, land, and wrap. The structure can, is consistent across the grades. What does assessment look like? Assessment is formative and it's summative. Every day there's a check for understanding, an exit ticket. They're focusing question tasks, writing tasks that build students' capacity toward that EOM, that end of module task. And each end of module task focuses on a different writing genre so that across each year, students are, are tackling and learning about the craft of, of narrative writing, informative writing, uh, persuasive writing, and, and research writing. There are also new read assessments, and then there are Socratic seminars, an opportunity to practice the democratic skill of sharing opinions, discussing, discoursing, and making sure that with evidence and elaboration, I back up my thesis. Affirm is our digital assessment platform. It takes a, a large weight off of teachers' shoulders by providing an online assessment platform that's in quite a few of the assessments is machine scorable. Witten Wisdom is nationally recognized uh, with Ed Reports. It received perfect scores in building knowledge and usability, the highest possible score in text quality. It's tier one rated with the Department of Education and Louisiana Believes. Witten Wisdom is also culturally responsive. It means that we are, we've built a, a curriculum that is inclusive, that gives students opportunities to see themselves in the text and also to experience the wider world, to examine their own experience and the experience of others through culturally responsive texts and culturally responsive activities. Witten Wisdom in Sync complements the Affirm online assessment platform. It's a, a digital platform that allows teachers and students to continue learning no matter their environment, whether they're working synchronously face-to-face -face, uh, or asynchronously in some kind of remote or blended learning environments. Professional development is woven throughout the wit and wisdom activities and resources designed to support not just students and build equitable outcomes for students, but also to build equitable outcomes for teachers, to make sure that teachers receive knowledge building support. On our screen, we have my email address and my colleague Morgan's email address. Please feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to support you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to dive into wit and wisdom.